Have you ever heard of the zombie salmon phenomenon? If not, then you're in for a treat. Today we plunge into the mysterious world of the zombie salmon, a term that paints a vivid picture of one of nature's most intriguing phenomena. Zombie salmon isn't a specific species but rather it describes a unique life cycle behavior observed in certain salmon species most notably Pacific and Atlantic salmon. Imagine this. A salmon, grown and matured in the vast expanses of the ocean, feels an inexplicable pull. A call that resonates deep within its very being, urging it to embark on a journey of epic proportions. A journey that spans hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles, back to its birthplace. But why? The answer lies in an instinctual drive as old as life itself, the drive to reproduce. This journey home, however, is no cakewalk. Our salmon must swim upstream against the current, often leaping up waterfalls and dodging predators at every turn. And if that wasn't challenging enough, they do all this while their bodies undergo dramatic transformations. Their skin turns pale, their bodies weaken, and they stop feeding, channeling every ounce of energy into the arduous journey and the impending task of reproduction. Once they reach their spawning grounds, these salmon engage in a frantic search for suitable spots to lay their eggs. The females dig nests in the riverbeds and after the eggs are laid, the males release sperm to fertilize them. The cycle of life continues but for our salmon it's the end of the road. Exhausted and depleted, they succumb to the physiological changes brought about by spawning and die. But even in death, they play a crucial role in the circle of life. Their bodies, rich in nutrients, nourish the surrounding ecosystem, supporting the survival and reproduction of various forms of wildlife and plant species. Astonishing, isn't it? But what makes these salmon undertake such a formidable journey? Let's dive deeper. Imagine abandoning the comfort of your home to undertake a perilous journey, fraught with danger at every turn. This is the reality for our zombie salmon as they embark on their homeward trek. The journey begins when these mature salmon, who have enjoyed the bounty of the ocean, feel an irresistible pull. A call of nature that urges them to leave the vast expanses of the sea and return to their birthplace. And so, they set off, swimming against the current, determined to reach their spawning grounds. This journey is no leisurely swim in the park, it's an epic adventure that demands strength, resilience, and sheer willpower. Picture this. They're swimming upstream, against the relentless force of the river currents. It's like running a marathon but instead of a flat road, they're battling a downhill torrent that threatens to sweep them away. And then, there are the waterfalls. These natural barriers stand tall and mighty in their path, but our zombie salmon are not deterred. With a burst of energy that defies their weakened state, they leap, striving to scale these liquid walls. It's a spectacle of nature that leaves one in awe of their determination and strength. But the trials don't end there. Lurking beneath the water's surface are predators, ever watchful, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Bears, eagles, wolves, they all have their sights set on our salmon, hoping to make a meal of them. Yet, despite the threat of death, the salmon press on, their single-minded focus on reaching their birthplace, undeterred. Each challenge they overcome, each danger they evade, brings them one step closer to their goal. Their bodies may be weakening but their spirits remain unbroken. They are driven by an instinct so powerful, so compelling, it eclipses the fear of death itself. Indeed, it's a journey that pushes these salmon to their limits. But why do they put themselves through this ordeal? The answer lies in a remarkable natural phenomenon that is as fascinating as it is poignant. But that's a story, for another time. As if the journey itself wasn't challenging enough, these salmon also undergo remarkable physical transformations. The body of a zombie salmon is a testament to the power of nature and the drive for survival. As they traverse the vast and perilous oceans, their bodies begin to change in response to the demands of their journey. Their skin, once vibrant and glistening, becomes pale and dull, a stark contrast to their former lively hues. This shift in color is more than just a visual change, it's an outward sign of the internal struggle these fish are undergoing. The energy required for this epic voyage is so immense that they cease feeding altogether, dedicating every ounce of their energy to the task at hand. Now imagine for a moment, going without food, swimming against the tide and facing countless predators, all while your body is slowly weakening. It's a daunting prospect, isn't it? Yet it's precisely what these salmon are doing. Their bodies become frail, their muscles weaken, but their spirit remains unbroken. 
The transformation of these salmon is a physical manifestation of their single-minded purpose. To return to their birthplace for spawning, it's a testament to their incredible resilience and determination. They push their bodies to the brink, challenging the very limits of their physical capabilities. The weakening of their bodies serves a greater purpose. It's not a sign of defeat but rather a strategic allocation of resources. Every bit of energy they possess is funneled into their migration and reproduction, a testament to their unwavering commitment to the survival of their species. This metamorphosis is not just a fascinating spectacle of nature, but it also holds profound implications for our understanding of survival and adaptation. It's a stark reminder of the lengths to which life will go to ensure its continuation, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Remarkably, despite these transformations, the salmon persist. But what happens once they reach their destination? As we move into the next phase of their journey, we'll delve into the final act of this natural drama, the spawning and the inevitable end that follows. Stay tuned as the story of the zombie salmon continues to unfold. After an arduous journey and significant transformations, the salmon finally reach their spawning grounds. This is where the true test of their survival instinct unearths itself. Like a well-choreographed dance, the salmon begin to seek suitable spots, often digging nests in the riverbeds. The females play a leading role in this primal performance. Each one selects a site, typically a gravel bed, and starts to dig a nest known as a red. To do this, she turns on her side and uses her tail to dislodge stones, creating a depression where she will lay her eggs. Once the red is ready, she deposits her eggs thousands at a time into the nest. This is where the males join the dance. They release their milt, a cloud of sperm, over the eggs, fertilizing them. This moment is the culmination of their incredible journey. However, this climax of life is also the beginning of their end. The salmon, having fulfilled their biological purpose, start to weaken. They've spent all their energy on the migration and reproduction and their bodies already worn from the journey begin to break down. In a matter of days the salmon that survived predators, rapids and waterfalls succumb to exhaustion and physiological changes. Their bodies pale, their energy wanes, and eventually they die. Their bodies left to the mercy of the currents and scavengers. But this is not the end of their story. In death, they give life. Their decaying bodies release nutrients into the water, nourishing the ecosystem that supported them throughout their lives. Their offspring, safe in the reds, will hatch into a new generation of salmon, ready to embark on their own epic journey when the time comes. It's a tragic yet fascinating end to an incredible journey. But what's the significance of all this? Well, the story of the zombie salmon is a testament to the power of instinct, the cycles of life and death, and the interconnectedness of all living beings. It's a circle of life that continues to turn, year after year, in the great rivers of our world. The story of the zombie salmon may seem like a tale of survival and sacrifice, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Just as the phoenix rises from its ashes, the life of the zombie salmon doesn't merely end in death, instead it gives rise to a new cycle of life. Their bodies, spent and drained from the arduous journey and the act of spawning, don't go to waste. Instead, they become a vital source of nutrients for the very rivers and streams they fought so hard to reach. Imagine a forest floor, a riverbank or a water body that's teeming with life. All the plants, insects, birds and mammals, they all need nourishment. And this is where the fallen zombie salmon come into play. Their bodies decompose and break down, providing a rich supply of nutrients that seep into the soil and water, nourishing the flora and fauna. But that's not all. The nutrients from the decomposing bodies of the zombie salmon also support the growth of algae and other aquatic plants. These plants in turn provide food and shelter for a myriad of small aquatic creatures, which then become food for larger predators. This way, the nutrients from the zombie salmon's bodies get cycled back into the food chain. This is nature's way of recycling, ensuring that nothing goes to waste. The zombie salmon, even in death, contribute to the intricate web of life, maintaining the delicate ecological balance. Moreover, the nutrient-rich bodies of the zombie salmon also play a crucial role in the survival and reproduction of their very own species. The nutrients they leave behind enrich the waters, providing the ideal conditions for the growth and survival of their offspring. So, the next time you hear about the zombie salmon, remember it's not just a tale of survival or sacrifice, it's a testament to the incredible resilience of nature and the delicate balance that sustains life on our planet. 